Hello everybody, I'm Aleksander Mendik from Jagiellonia University Medical College, Krakow, Poland. I would like to draw your attention to the paper entitled In Vitro and Vivo Relationship Generalized Model Based on Artificial Neural Networks. In vitro vivo correlation, IVIVC, in its classical approach, it's a mathematical model uh, designed to predict the in vivo measured pharmacokinetic profile based on the in vitro measured dissolution profile of the particular drug of interest. This formula is used by pharmaceutical industry for the cost saving purposes because once it is established, it allows to reduce the demand of prospective biases. This is the classical approach uh, of IVIVC level A based on instructions of FDA. Here we have a very simple linear formula where the drug fraction absorbed in vivo is a dependent variable and independent variable is drug fraction released in vitro. For the latter you have the results ready for computations measured in the lab, unfortunately. For the former you don't have explicit measurement of this profile. Therefore, you need to create it based on numerical approaches. One of them, the most commonly used, is a deconvolution method. And the deconvolution method, uh, unfortunately, in order to be precise and accurate, demands an additional in vivo profile, which is usually derived from the intravenous uh, administration of the particular drug. This situation is not very comfortable for pharmaceutical industry because first it requires an additional biassay and uh, second uh, for certain cases uh, IV administration is sometimes impossible for particular drugs. So we would like to propose some solution of this situation based on artificial neural networks, computational intelligence tools able to create very complicated uh, relationships and therefore able to provide a direct relationship, IVIVR model, uh, without the deconvolution phase and its obstacles. So let me show you in a nutshell how we did it. We put to, into the input of the neural network the dissolution profile accompanied by the chemical formula of uh, the active pharmaceutical ingredients and excipients encoded in so-called molecular descriptors. And also uh, we introduced some parameters of the dissolution test. To the output, in order to train the neural network, we, we put and uh, presented uh, corresponding from kinetic profiles derived from literature. This is an example of the prediction of our system, an average prediction, where you can see it's not, it's not perfectly precise, yet it is still able to mimic a general course of the, of the pharmacokinetic profile and it is also uh, able to predict the range of concentrations, uh, which is a very important feature of this model. For more details, I would like to uh, invite you to the Drug Design Development and Therapy Journal. I wish you happy reading. Thank you for your attention.